Yambra. Yeah. You have money for Njugu? Yeah. You have money for Njugu? No. No, Dam. But you don't want the Njugu, yeah? I want. Ah, yes, go and buy some more. Let's go and buy some here in Westland. Sarah. So, <clears throat> yesterday, or since yesterday, what has been trending has been a video of a young student who is on the ground being brutalized by the people who are supposed to be protecting them. Well, we have to interpret everything that is going on around us without just jumping or without being emotional. Like I said, I've been saying this um, in a lot of my previous videos Father, that we have become... Here. Yes? Here. You're sweating? Mm, open your jacket. I've opened. You have opened? Yeah. You're too hot, eh? It's humid, it's gonna rain. Hey, Sawa. Yes. Uh, okay. Hey, do your thing. I was making his video. Sawa. Fire. So back to the video, I was interrupted by Nyambura. Um, so you find that, like I've been saying in the videos before, we are very emotional people. We like jumping and um, into any conclusions and into any comments whenever we see something happening around us. There's been a lot of comments regarding the video. This is the j -Quart students who went out into the streets uh, voicing their, their concerns which were not taken care of. Now, you don't go from zero to 90 in five seconds. If you look at that video, then nine, five seconds is the maximum time it took for these um, officers who are supposed to be, you know, taking care, protecting lives and property. They went from zero to 90 in five seconds and really brutalized that young man or woman or that student. You don't know. It's not clear from the video, the gender. Now... The students were on the streets because of something that they feel should have been addressed, which is the insecurity that they have been going through, which has been ignored because they have tried to engage the school first and the people around them, and it has been ignored. In the same way, the people who responded, we have to look at it like this. So for someone to really explode from zero to 90, then it means something was bottling up inside them. Something took time before really exploding. I'll give you an example. We have trash in the house. And we all know that if you don't take the trash outside, after some times, the trash will start to smell. Now, in the same way, when you have bottled up emotions inside you, it gets to a point whereby they have to explode. So the example that we saw yesterday was the student's grievances is not being met, having not been met, they had to explode and spill over into the streets because you remember the African proverb that said that a kid ignored will burn the whole village to feel its warmth. So that is an example of what was happening. In the same way, the responders who responded to the violence, they all have issues. I mean, it's hard for everyone as it is, not just here, but around the world. Now, when you have peoples or the people responding and their morality is low, their moral values are low, these are hungry people. These are people who have kids and they have problems back home. These are people who are walking around with they are like small bombs ready to explode at any moment they have short fuses everybody is having a short fuse so what we saw yesterday was an end result of something that has been simmering under the covers now um People who have cars, we usually take our cars for servicing. 
Sometimes we just drive into a service station, not to service the car, but just to take the tire pressure of the car. So we are constantly looking after our cars, constantly checking whether the oil needs to be changed in our cars. So in the same way, we, the people, should be constantly checking our emotional and spiritual well-being. Now, the Western medication or the Western medicine has taught us that when you have a pain in your hand, then you go and you buy pain medication for the hand. When you have a headache, you go and you buy some maramoja or whatever for the head. But what they are forgetting is that the headache is a manifestation of other things going on inside you. So in the same way, the pain of the society is a manifestation of us failing to take of ourselves care i mean to take care of ourselves mentally uh physically uh, emotionally and then remember anything that happens to you emotionally eventually will spill out and manifest itself on the physical level that's why when you get sick most of the time it's something that usually from inside that manifests and comes outside now one of the ways that we can solve this because i mean we have to come up with a solution and everything and this is the the, the lesson that we should learn anything that happens around us should teach us a lesson what is the lesson that we can learn from yesterday's rioting and the videos trending everywhere today then the lesson is that anything that you don't take care of before it explode then as sure as sun is in today it's gonna manifest and come out into the physical pretty soon Nyambura, put on your safety belt Araka sana, we are moving we are moving put on your safety belt jami meisha funga mshipi Yes, traffic is gone. To the other way. And then close your window. Sina kwa. Funga kio. Mbaka hapo, you are still sweating hapo ni sawa, sawa. So, in the same way, sorry about that. In the same way that um or oh, the solution will have that you have to take you have to get rid of the baggage that you are carrying inside you. That's the point. The baggage that you have inside you. What is your emotional state? What is your physical state? What is your mental state? Because if you're not taking care of that, then you and I will explode. A lot of people tell me that, oh, uh, I look good for my age. But to be really honest, the body that I have is my 90 years body. This is how I want to look when I'm 90, according to my books. Because I'm also going through a lot of shit. I'm also going through a lot of stresses in life. Life keeps throwing curves at me, which is normal for every human being. So, I'm not at my best, and no one is at their best, but we try our best to be at our best. Let me give you a few of the lessons of how you can move from the, the mental imbalance to something better. If you are in a job that you don't like, then the time to change that job is now. If you are in a place that you don't like, the time to move is now. You are later is our now. Later on should become now, not next time. See, the problem with us is that we usually like doing stuff next time. Anything that comes up, we push it to next year. Like now everyone is talking about January next year. Next year, I'll do this. Next year, I'll do this. But the thing is that the later is now i mean we still have 60 days before the end of the year and we're already dismissing the year putting everything for next year so we have to stop with the but i want to move but i want to change my job but that's the problem that we have putting everything into the future that we can solve now then we go through the pain through the simmering through the um, the culmination of all uh, the thoughts, frequencies, and forms, 
until they explode and then you see the results you saw it for yourself i don't have even have to answer the question for you you saw the results i'll give you an example with nature when an animal is starving and the animal has a kid whether it's a bird or a small animal the mother animal will starve to death before the kid dies because the kid becomes the priority the baby animal becomes the priority the parent will go eat come and vomit everything for the small kid first before they eat so in the same way you should be taking care of yourself first your inner self your mental self your spiritual self first before you go out there and try to do it for other people and that's how i'm ending my video for the day feel free to comment on the comment section feel free to add anything you'd like to add on that feel free to criticize my thoughts if that is what you feel that you should get, be engaging me on Nyabra Yes, sir. Mene dayo. Dayo. Mene dayo.